Hello, students. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the lesson. Thank you so much for joining. Um, before we get into today's lesson, if you haven't yet and you would like to watch new lessons every single day, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. I would appreciate it so, so much. And if you could like this video and share it with a friend who's also learning English, that would also help me out a lot. Okay. So um, in today's lesson, um, this lesson was actually requested um, by one of my students, Ted Tedwin. Thank you so much for requesting this lesson. Um, she is from Myanmar. And uh, if you have been following the news, uh, there is a lot of things happening in Myanmar right now. Um, so she asked if we could go over some of those um, uh, the vocabulary that is concerning Myanmar right now. So that's what we're going to do because I know a lot of my students are from Myanmar. And um, if this is beneficial for you, I hope um, you can uh, watch this lesson and I hope you can learn something. Um, if you are not from Myanmar, don't worry. Um, this is a little bit of an advanced lesson uh, because we are going to be talking about um, a uh, kind of a difficult topic. So uh, if you want to learn some of these advanced vocabulary words that you might see in the news, then stick around. Um, but yeah, let's get into the lesson, okay? So we're going to read a bit of an article from the BBC. Um, but I want to go over some of the vocabulary first so that when we read it, you have a good understanding of what we're talking about, okay? So, um, let's see. Okay, these are the, I, I, I picked out uh, some of the most difficult vocabulary that is in the article so that we can go through them. Um, uh, detain is probably the easiest word on the list. I just put it in there um, just in case uh, some of you didn't know what this word meant. Um, but uh, we'll be going over these words. These words might be unfamiliar to you because um, you might not uh, read the news. So that's okay, but we're gonna go over them just in case. It's a good, it's a good lesson um, for those of you who want to keep up with the news in English. Okay, so I'm gonna read them first, and then we'll go over the definitions, okay? So please listen to my pronunciation. All right, so the first one is rallying point, rallying point. Next, we have the word coup, coup. Although it does end in a P, the P is not pronounced, coup, coup, okay? And then we have this very long one. We have civil disobedience, civil disobedience. Okay, we're gonna go over the meanings in just a second, so don't worry. The next word is, uh, it starts with a J. I put a very small J there. <laughs> it starts with a J and in, I think, um, the UK, I think they pronounce it as junta. Um, however, in the U.S., I guess it is pronounced junta, junta, like an H sound, like an English H. So um, uh, originally, I think this is a Spanish word. So the J, the J written here does not sound like an English J. It sounds like an H. So in America, we would say junta, junta. So that's how I'll be pronouncing it, okay? And then uh, we have the last one, detain detain. Okay, so I'll go over them one more time. Rallying point, rallying point. Coup, coup. Civil disobedience, civil disobedience. Junta, junta. Detain, detain. Okay, so these are gonna be our major vocabulary words today. Okay, there might be some other 
uh, tricky words in the um, uh, in the news article, depending on your level. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Okay. All right. Let's get into uh, the definitions of those words. Okay. So I have them all written out for you. So it should be easy. You can follow along. Okay. So first is rallying point. A rallying point. So what is a rallying point? Well, it could be a cause or a symbol or a place that unites a group of people, okay? So uh, something or some place brings a group of people together and unites them for one cause or one thing, okay? It's a rallying point. All right, the next word, coup. Remember the P is silent, coup. A coup is a sudden, violent, and illegal, so against the law, a seizure, taking, seizure of power from a government. A sudden, a violent, and illegal seizure of power from a government. So when someone or a group of people try to um, take the government, um, that would be considered a coup. And if you have been following my lessons, we also uh, had a lesson about the attempted coup in the United States. So uh, yeah, coup has been coming up a lot recently in the news. So it's a good word to know, okay? The next word is civil disobedience civil disobedience. So disobedience means um, to disobey, which means that you um, go against something. Uh, you, uh, even though you're told to do something, you uh, don't do it, okay? So civil disobedience. So uh, this is civil disobedience, but the word disobedience just means that you, um, uh, disobey, you don't follow somebody's orders or something. So sometimes children disobey their parents, which is not good, right? <laughs> okay, but civil disobedience is a little bit different. Um, it's a refusal of a citizen to obey certain laws, demands, or orders of a government. And it is sometimes defined as a peaceful or nonviolent uh, resistance, okay? So civil disobedience is when the citizens uh, don't follow the laws or the rules of the government, okay? And uh, because it has the word civil, a lot of uh, people equate it to being peaceful or nonviolent, okay? Then we have the word junta, in the UK, junta. Uh, a military or political group that rules a country after taking power by force, okay? So if a coup is staged and that group of people who performed the coup take over, then we would call that a junta, right? A military or political group that rules a country after taking power by force, by force, okay? And then we have the last one, probably the easiest one, detain, detain. You'll hear this word um, if you uh, read the news or if you watch like uh, police TV shows, something like that, you'll hear this word, detain. Okay, so detain means to keep someone in official custody. So usually the police will keep you somewhere. Um, for questioning about a crime or a politically sensitive situation, okay? So detain means they will keep you somewhere and usually they will question you, okay? So rallying point, coup, civil disobedience, junta and detain, okay? I hope these words are understandable. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me, okay? Very good, let's get into the article, okay? So, uh, let's see here. Um, I'm going to share my screen and we're gonna go over it 
together. Okay. Okay, so I think you can see me and you can also see uh, this article here. So we will read the, the title of the article. So it is Myanmar coup, military blocks Facebook for sake of stability. Stability. You'll notice that uh, stability is in quotes. Okay. So Myanmar coup. We know what a coup is now, right? Uh, sudden, violent, and illegal uh, seizure of power from the government. Okay. Um, military blocks Facebook for sake of stability. We'll get into this in a second. Okay. So if we look at the title or sorry, the, the heading here, Myanmar's military rules have blocked access, uh, sorry, rulers, <laughs> I can't see, Myanmar's military rulers have blocked access to Facebook days after they overthrew the democratic government. Okay, so the military overthrew the government and now they blocked access to Facebook. So I heard from some people that uh, people in Myanmar are using VPNs to access uh, Facebook or you know, the internet, okay? Um, it says, officials said the social media platform, so social media platform, a social media platform would be like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, anything where you can interact online okay social media platform um, in this case they're talking about facebook the social media platform facebook for many in myanmar the main source of online information would be blocked for the sake of stability okay so uh officials said that facebook which is a a main source of online information for many people in Myanmar would be blocked for the sake of stability. And again, stability is in quotes. So uh, this is kind of implying that uh, it's not actually for stability. They're saying stability, but they maybe it, in this article, uh, they're saying it's not really for stability. Maybe it's more for control, right? Okay. So the next sentence, Facebook has become a key, our word here, rallying point for opposition to Monday's coup. Okay. So Facebook has become a key. Key means important. And a rallying point is, remember, it could be a, a uh, cause, a symbol, or a place for a group of people to unite. Okay, so Facebook um, is a place where many people can get together virtually and uh, unite for one uh, common, common cause in this case. Okay, so uh, for their opposition to Monday's coup. So people who are against the coup are able to, you know, uh, connect on Facebook. It is a rallying point. Okay. In further civil disobedience, that's our other word, civil disobedience. Um, remember, civil disobedience is when a citizen uh, refuses to uh, follow a law or um, demand or order from the government. Okay. In further civil disobedience, Lawmakers, lawmakers, so the people who make the law, um, are refusing to leave their compound, so where they are, in the capital. So remember, we had a lesson on capital, right? Capital is uh, the, the, uh, uh, the place where people will, you know, come together to make laws, pass bills, that thing. Um, and more pot banging pot banging was seen in Yang, I'm going to, I'm going to try to pronounce it the best I can, Yangon, Yangon, okay? So let's go over this again. It's a little bit long. In further civil disobedience, so people not listening to the, uh, the new rules, um, lawmakers are refusing to leave their compound in the capital. 
So the act of refusing to leave the capital is a uh, is civil disobedience. Okay, and more pot banging. So I saw there are people who are banging on pots as a part of their protest. Okay, uh, the coup led by armed forces chief. I'm going to try and say it. Min Ong Hling. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. Uh, installed an 11 member junta ending a short period of majority civilian rule. Okay, so the coup led by armed forces chief Min Ong Hling uh, installed a, an 11 member junta. So if we remember a junta is um, a, I'll get it back for you guys, or maybe you can't see actually, I'm too small, a military or political group that uh, rules a country after taking uh, power by force. So the junta took power by force, okay? And they ended a short period of majority civilian rule, okay? So the, the citizens, the civilian rule, uh, majority civilian rule, the majority of uh, civilians ruled, okay? Uh, Next paragraph, we'll just do these next two. The military said an election in November had been fraudulent. Fraudulent, ooh, we didn't write this one down. Fraudulent means um, that there was fraud, fraud. So we heard about this, um, we heard accusations of fraud in the US election also. Okay, so this sounds very similar to me. Um, uh, fraud means that uh, for an election, it means that it wasn't an honest election, uh, that they're claiming uh, that maybe uh, people who uh, people voted, but maybe the votes were more or less than the actual number. Okay, that's what they're saying. Uh, the military said an election in November had been fraudulent. So there was fraud though the country's election commission said there was no evidence to back up such claims. So again, very similar to the American election. Um, the military said, hey, the election seems like there's something uh, suspicious here. It was uh, fraud. This isn't the right, uh, this isn't uh, who was supposed to win. But after the election commission, you know, checked everything, there's no evidence that there was any fraud. So the election commission says this was an honest election, okay? And then we're gonna look at this last part. The elected civilian leader, okay, I'm gonna try and say the name, Aung San, Aung San Suu Kyi, I'm so sorry if I did not pronounce that correctly, along with the president Win Mint, were detained and on Wednesday, police filed charges against them. So uh, the elected, elected civilian leader, Aung San Suu Kyi and president Win Mint were detained. So the police or the military um, kept them and maybe are questioning them and they filed charges against them. So um, if you did something illegal, usually that's when charges are filed, okay? So uh, this is a little bit difficult. It's a very uh, hard topic, but um, uh, thank you for requesting it. Um, I think it is important for us to be able to read uh, news and international news. Uh, it's very good for English practice. Um, so let's just go over it one more time. I'm going to read it through. Please listen and see if you can understand it, okay? So we'll start here. Myanmar's military rulers have blocked access to Facebook days after they overthrew the democratic government. Officials said the social media platform, for many in Myanmar, the main source of online information, 
would be blocked for the sake of stability. Facebook has become a key rallying point for opposition to Monday's coup. In further civil disobedience, lawmakers are refusing to leave their compound in the capital. And more pot banging was seen in Yangon. The coup, led by Armed Forces Chief Min Ong Hleng, installed an 11 member junta, ending a short period of majority civilian rule. The military said an election in November had been fraudulent, though the country's election commission said there was no evidence to back up such claims. The elected civilian leader, Aung San Suu Kyi, along with President Win Myint, were detained and on Wednesday, police filed charge, charges against them. Okay, were you able to understand uh, the majority of this article? Please let me know. Let me know if there were some vocabulary words that I missed that are difficult for you. This is quite advanced, so I hope you can understand most of it. Um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Uh, I will link the full article in the description box below, so please uh, read it if you can, if you'd like. Um, that's good, good practice, okay? Okay, so I'm back. All right, so um, yes, I hope that uh, this lesson was helpful. I hope that uh, you are able to read uh, more advanced news articles. And yes, if you have any other um, news stories that you would like covered, please let me know. Um, but yes, uh, I will be back tomorrow with another lesson. Please subscribe. We do lessons uh, on YouTube every single day. So if you want to see those, please subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Okay. Thank you again for uh, watching this lesson. Thank you to Ted Tetwin for requesting this lesson. And um, I wish all the best to all of my students in Myanmar. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys uh, in my next lesson. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone.